just gonna have to deal with that. It's raining. Yeah. Today we're gonna talk about some back to school stuff, and then we're gonna reveal Marshmallow. What's going on? I'm Alex. I'm the father. And I'm Cadence, the daughter. And welcome to our show. If this is your first time here and you're looking to laugh, or be inspired, hit that subscribe button. Now let's get started. Back to school is now here and now gone. And now everyone's kind of looking around and seeing what everybody's got, what everybody brought from their, um, what do you call it? Summer school shopping? And then I looked at the top search results, and they were, and I quote, calculators, pens, glue, pencils, and, and backpacks. backpacks. This video was originally going to be about school supplies, but we all know that the moment you bring school supplies into school, they're gone within the first three weeks. That's definitely true. We found out that people are still looking for backpacks. So you had to deal with the conundrum of either figuring out where to, whether to get a new backpack or use the one from last year. I used the one from last year this year. Yeah, it probably still stinks from last year too. Um, no, it doesn't. Now, here's what we did. Cadence and I actually went to uh, the Grand Central Mall and uh, just kind of stopped in a couple different stores to see, to find out that maybe you are looking for a backpack and maybe she can help out. Yeah, with a new backpack you can be bold and let your personality shine. We went to a couple stores in town and found the best one. With different styles like solid colors, multicolors, ones with characters on them, ones for guys, and ones for girls. Let's go see these different backpacks. So first we went to Dunham's and their backpacks there were $44.99. Um, the one thing about those backpacks were they were like sports bags. They weren't exactly like an actual school backpack. Like you could use it for like your sports equipment more than your like school supplies. Then, the next store we went to was Spencer's, and their backpacks were also $44.99, but they did have a 50% off. Um, the one backpack that I thought was the coolest out of their backpacks was the one that had like these speakers in it, and you could connect your phone to it, and then like when you walk into school on the first day of school, you could have like this cool epic entrance. If you think about it, it's a win-win situation because you win because you got the backpack you want with speakers. Your parents win because they got a backpack that's 50% off and the cheapest. So if you're willing to spend money on the other ones, which is fine, that's great. But this one, if you're a little bit frugal with your spending, this is the backpack for you. With the music, with the speakers, if you like, if you're one of those people that's like that like to listen to music before a sports game. Here's your perfect backpack. You can have your backpack while doing your schoolwork and listen to music before a game and you have to stay at school. Like, I kind of have to do. Okay. The next store that we went to was Hollister and their backpacks were $49.95. The one thing about their backpacks was that they were, like, smaller than the normal size of a backpack. Like, they just felt, like, smaller. Like, they couldn't fit, like, all my homework in it because on the second week of school, I had a lot of homework. I had it in science and in North Carolina studies. And I also had to fit these two, like, the big, like, textbooks. And then I had to also fit my big binder in my backpack. So, I mean, if I had one of those small backpacks, it probably wouldn't have fit. It probably would But did you get an A, though? Yep. Sure did. My girl. The next store that we went to was Journeys, and their backpacks were $42.00. And their backpacks were the Jansport backpacks. I love the Jansport backpacks because I've always gotten those since like, I think fourth grade. And on, on most Jansport backpacks too, um, make sure you look for the tag. I don't know if the tag needs to be on there or not, but I do know that if they do, uh, most of them do say lifetime warranty on it. So if you carry a Jansport and you're paying that much, the lifetime warranty is definitely a plus because and then use that for a long time. And the one, the one thing I really liked about the backpack was uh, the design on the outside because it was like a background of white and then had like, you know, like the snow cones on it. It was like a blue and purple one, like, and it was like, snow Next 
store we went to was JCPenney's and their backpacks were $64. They were also the Jan Sport backpacks and my, the one that I picked up was like a baby blue color and like blue is one of my favorite colors. So like any blue backpacks that would like be out there I really want because I like the color blue. So that's the one reason I like that one. The next store that we went to was Justice. And the backpacks that were in there just like weren't my style or weren't for me. They were like really sparkly pink, purple, and those are like, to me those are like 4th grader backpacks, not like an 8th grader backpack. Well, it kind of depends, like I like their like sports clothes from there, because they're comfortable. I don't really like their like backpacks or like, like that type of stuff. And then the last store they went to was Belk. And their backpacks were $50. Um, their backpacks were really big and roomy. It was almost like a sports bag, kind of. And like their colors that they had, they really weren't like girl colors. They were more like black, gray, red, camo. Standard neutral color backpacks that looked like they weren't really um, looking to get anything with design on them. So they, they just went with the mutual backpacks to sell. Alright, I got a question for you. Now, how was your back to school? Was Were you excited or did you want to stay home in bed? I want to know. Tell us in the comments below. <laughs> and while you're down there, consider subscribing. Have you guys ever heard of the uh, artist Marshmallow? Have you ever heard of Marshmallow? Uh, yeah. Now, uh, he goes by the name Christopher Comstock. Um, also know, known as uh, dot .com. Um, he was born in 19, May 19, 1992. Young kid, okay. Um, he's known professionally as Marshmallow. Not to be confused with Marshmallow. Here you guys get the, the, the genre EDM. Um, he first gained international recognition by remixing songs by Jack U and uh, Zed. And then he started collabor collaborating with a bunch of other artists such as Omar, Lynx, Slushy, Jazz, OK, Khaled, Khalid, Khalid, uh, Selena Gomez, sorry, Selena Gomez, Anne Marie, Lil Peep, Logic, and Bastille. At the iHeart Music Awards, uh, Marshmello was um, actually revealed himself. Him, along with a bunch of other artists, have never revealed themselves before, and he decided to do it at iHeartRadio. So, have you seen this video? No. So this became his first time for the reveal. Let's see her reaction. Like Sean Mendes for a second. It is Sean Mendes. I'm so confused. That was Sean Mendes. Yeah, but what his name's different. <laughs> so just how she is shocked, the whole world was shocked. Obviously, you can hear the screaming fans uh, just shocked as well. Now, once he revealed himself, he revealed himself at the Aria Heart Radio Show. Uh, for receiving the best EDM and dance artist award, which um, artists use this as an extra value to their brand. They use the fact that they're not known by face, they're known by the brand that they are. Um, so there's a couple other um, bands that I've heard of and that I like um, that do this as well, so, such as like uh, Dead Mouse, uh, Sia, uh, Lady Gaga did this for a while. Insane Clown Posse, uh, Daft Punk, uh, even Kiss was one of, I think, one of the original ones that have started this and done this before. Now, let me take you for a roller coaster. This was actually a stunt. 
since Marshmallow likes to collaborate with people, this was actually a stunt by Christopher Comstock with Shawn Mendes to reveal as Shawn Mendes. So it wasn't even... It wasn't even Shawn Mendes. <laughs> so this is one of the, the one of the best things about these artists that just keep their identity a secret and never come out because the moment we saw him as Shawn Mendes, we were just kind of relieved and we're like, oh, that's cool. And that was it. But that wasn't really him. So we don't actually know the actual face of Marshmallow. I'm upset. <laughs> and I'm Alex. And I'm Cadence. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you hit the subscribe button, you can also hit that little bell icon for notifications. Don't forget to be social. Follow me. Say hello. hello. Did you notice that there was a little icon at the top right? If you're actually signed in to YouTube and uh, click on that, you, it'll actually lead you to other secret videos. You should go check them out. And as always, stay laughing. Stay inspired. Stay, stay true. true. I'm upset. <laughs> Good show. Good show. And that's where we're going to end today's show. Now remember, this is Perez TV. It's not just a show, it's a conversation. So let us know in the comment section below. Now if you want more, hit the like button. And if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. If you want more videos, just click right over there.